this is my Branson off-grid I'm doing a EV upgrade this is the Polaris Ranger EV it's a 2010 model and I'm upgrading the batteries and so basically the way we decided to do this put a big heavy uh, basically a piece of quarter inch plate but it uh, I think will be plenty strong like that even with just these uh, one inch tubes that we added here and, and there on both sides and then we uh, went around it with the strip to keep the batteries from sliding and the batteries are in slightly different positions from one side to the other basically it's this one here the two in the middle and uh, oh, I've got the little spacers so let's just let's go there somehow and uh, keeps the batteries farther forward. This set has to go farther forward. This set over here has to go farther back. This one has to go forward because of the clearance on the drive shaft, which we talked about earlier. This one has to go back mainly, so I don't have to worry about this electrical connections here and here. It's wiring iron, so those have to go back slightly. The ones on the outside are in the same position. So basically the ones on the outside, and as you can see this inside one is the same as the outside. It's really only this one that has to go farther back. And you had to have a little space here for this, uh, to clear this battery right here in the front. So it clears that, and then the brake line had to be, uh, this little clip up here in the front and I had to cut so I could reroute the brake line and put it on the other side of the battery. Uh, originally it was way over here so now it's over there. And then like I said my strap will help to <coughs> hold these. These will be on the inside and yeah, between the battery and this strap here and the brake line. Uh, there's under that so all that will be held in place. And that kind of fits around the outside of the battery. A little tight, but it works. You can see I'm kind of grinding off the welds. I got a little uh, plastic insert to go under here to raise them slightly so the battery's, the edge of the battery doesn't sit down against the weld. It'll be just holded up just slightly. I'm going to paint this. I've got some Pour 15 paint, which if you're not familiar with, is. Uh, used in automotive restoration. So I'm grinding off uh, where these old uh, brackets were. There were uh, brackets, two brackets on each side. So I'm cleaning all that up. Cleaning up the welds, the uh, slag and stuff like that. And then I gotta uh, put the metal etching compound. You clean it, you do a metal etching compound, and then you put a 415 on here. So it'll look good when it gets done. And all this rust will be uh, out of here for the time being and that's uh will be this project and then i still gotta work on the front uh, axle but uh oh and then the other part of this is that uh, he cut these tubes welded in a whole new upper uh piece which i had bent and i bent these tubes and they basically formed these tubes and it did a good really good job fitting that in there so that all be smoothed up and uh, repainted and then hopefully we'll be back together and ready to go and I'll uh, probably have to take it somewhere and have that front uh, differential rebuilt I don't know about the rear but for the front I think for sure has an issue so that's it for today thank you for watching